All right. Hello, everyone. I'm just going to go a bit through teams with your kids. Uh, this is the team on desktop, but if your child is at home, the best way to do it is through Office 365. And if you just go to the my, if you just go to Davis School District, and then when you get there, you'll see something called Quick Links. Have your child click on that. And then they need to log into their Office 365 account. So if I'll just go into another account so you guys can see. And once your child logs in, they just need to go to their apps and they just need to go to Teams. So it just will be at the top. So once your child logs in, they'll see it right at the top. So they just need to click on the waffle. And then Teams. So once they get logged into Teams, they just need to go to their assignments. And they'll see it right here. So since I'm in teacher mode, I'm going to have to click on a class. But they should just see their assignments right there. So if I go to Mrs. Romano's class... So uh, Madame Colas has some in here, but then also there should be one for, I should say week 30 for next week, remote learning. And you should see it right there, but I think it got turned in. So all the kids have to do, let's just see. Oh yeah, there it is. So all they have to do is click on it. So we'll just click on a French one. And then the student should just be able to click view and it should open up right in this space. Now, since it's in OneNote, if they can't, for some reason, it might say it got deleted. It really didn't. All they got to do is go to their team. So they just got to click on their teams. Go to their, the general of their teams. And at the top, there's something called class notebook. And once they click on the class notebook, they just need to go into their own notebook and they need to click on language arts and then they'll find their week 30 remote learning schedule there. So let's just go into, I'm just gonna go into autumn. So once I click down on autumn, so she, you can see what all the ones she has. She just needs to click on language arts and week 29 is there from this prior week. And then she can see all the stuff she needs to do. Okay, so that's how they can get their stuff. And then also, all the stuff they're answering in McGraw Hill, all these questions, instead of writing Mrs. Romano an email, they just need to go scroll below and they just need to write their answers down here. Just make sure they restate the question so Mrs. Romano knows what their question they're answering so they can get graded on their comprehension, their writing, and their understanding of the skill. So all of it can be done down here, okay? So I'm just going to go into McGraw real quick so students can see how they need to answer for McGraw. So once they go into Clever, they have to go through Clever. If they don't, it won't work. They just click on the McGraw Hill symbol. And then they'll click on, I think it says Wonders 5th grade. It's taking a moment. Yep, and they just click launch. Like I said, slowly but surely. Okay, perfect. Then all their to-dos is right here on this clipboard. They just, they just need to click on it, and then they just need to go refer back to their week 30 uh, remote learning and just follow what they need to do, all the activities. Some of it they can type in here, but it'd be best so Mrs. Romano doesn't have to go back and forth just for them to type their answers within um, within OneNote. When they click on this, I notice a lot of kids are like, well, it won't open up. They got to go over here, and they have to open the source. 
Some other questions students had were like, what does it mean when it says make connection or your turn? I don't understand that. So when they get done with the reading, for example, like next week, it will be very similar to this. But when they get done, it will say at the end of the story, make connections. They need to answer both these questions right here and they need to restate them so Mrs. Romano knows what questions they're answering in their one note, which is the most easiest. Then for all the skills, if they keep going to the right, they need to read through this and they need to answer the your turn for summarize and for this one too. They need to do for all the skills so she knows that they understand the main skill. Same thing for this, Oop, go back here and here. And then they also will need to do the writing for the your turn for that. This needs to be more than a sentence. It needs to be at least a paragraph for her to count for it. So I hope that makes more sense for there. Um, the same idea goes for the next day. Let's see, there's gonna be a long read they'll have next week. It won't be this one. This is just showing you an example. And it will say, answer all the stop and checks when they're reading, it will say stop and check and this, your child does need to answer those. Like this, this is a stop and check, that's an example. So next week, I think it's Blanca Floor that they'll be reading uh, for the French, they will need to do that. Then at the end of this longer read, they'll need to answer this last page and there's a few questions for it. this page. They'll need to answer all the questions on this page, okay? And then the last read they'll have will be, it, I can't remember what it's called, but it will be some a shorter text that's ex usually expository. And they need to answer the make, the make the connection questions again. So I hope that makes more sense on what they'll need to be doing. Um, and this is the French week 30 set of online learning remote learning schedule for next week. And then they'll have lessons within McGraw Hill they'll need to do too. They'll have one brain pop lesson on possessives. So when they go into brain pop, which is also in Clever, they need to type in possessive and you need to watch the video and then take the quiz, but they have to look that up themselves. Also, I will. there is also a video on state reports uh, on my website they can watch. And Mrs. Romano will contact you about how when and how to pick up their packets. If you look below, each student is um, in this schedule is assigned a state that they will be researching for the state tourism project here too. Um, but just wait for Mrs. Romano to contact you more on this part here. Okay, I hope that helps. Hope everyone has a great day.